Hello, welcome back Fallout 4. This is your host, BadBoy2099 here. And uh, I'm currently in the Nuka World DLC. Uh, last video, did a little bit of this and that. And um, I'm going to start off by turning in the Cappy mission. Um, it was the one where you had to go and find all the little uh, hidden cappy throughout the areas. And uh, I did that when I wasn't recording because it was tedious and long. And I didn't want to bore you all with it. So, I'm done with it now. So I'm going to go turn it in. See if it was even worth the time. I found all the hidden cappies. Each one had a letter? Great. Let me take a look at these letters. Well, anyone who stared at Nuka Cola merchandise as long as I have would get this one pretty fast. The letters definitely spell refreshing. It's simpler than I was expecting. Hmm. Of course it's simple. The contest was meant for kids. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I guess sometimes I take all of this Nuka Cola stuff so seriously. This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad is the only way to open it. I guess we just need to key in the 10 numbers that correspond to the word refreshing. You did all the work looking for the hidden copies, so you should be the one who gets to enter the code. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I could have been here before the war. You know, just to see what it was like. In regards to Nuka Cola clear production, I think it's obvious that we need to take a step back and examine the facts. Project Cobalt dropped quantum in our laps, so I think it's best we leverage its Let's potential popularity before someone else beats us to market. Series. Additionally, installing the equipment to produce both flavors would cost us a pretty penny, and I'd rather use the funds to promote Quantum. We also have our Lemon Lime flavor debuting soon, and need to work out how to market two clear-colored flavors simultaneously. With all these factors taken into account, I have no choice but to hold off Nuka-Cola clear production for at least the next two fiscal years. Okay.
that's it. See what this Brad says. Burton, I didn't fly down from DC to get jerked around. You either sign off on Project Cobalt or I can walk right out that door. This isn't like deciding what color bottle to pick for our next flavor, General. You're asking me to take my laboratories and my beverage years and basically turn them over to your team. I need assurances that my people and my facilities are going to be treated with the respect that they deserve. Place. You and I both know that's a load of horse shit. Stop treating me like one of your soft drink competitors. I'm here representing the U.S. military. No I already told you you'd be well compensated. Now cut the crap and tell me what you're really after. Fine. I want in on the military sleep X program. What? How the hell did you know about that? Let's just say you're not the only one in this room that can throw his weight around in Washington, General. I've been following the program ever since its inception, and I have to say that I'm impressed. The ability to keep a human in a state of veritable immortality using a machine. Now that's something that I didn't expect from the military. Look, you want me to agree to this proposal, then get me on the Leap X list, and I'll sign whatever you want. I always knew you were a greedy son of a bitch, John. But the last thing I expected to hear is that you were afraid of death. If you know so much about Leap X, then you know it's in its infancy, and there are a lot of kinks to be worked out. It isn't as easy as throwing a switch and suddenly you can live forever. Stop trying to talk me out of it. We both know the enemy is developing chemical and biological weapons, and that my beverage ears are the top organic chemists in the world. Our countries are in a race where no one comes in second, General. So you need to ask yourself, can you really afford to stand here and say no? You had this all figured out before I even arrived, didn't you? Okay, fine. You want in on the lead? X program, you've got yourself a deal. You know, maybe immortality is what's best for you, Brad Burton. It'd be a goddamn shame to let that ego go to waste. The war. You know, just to see what it was like. Look in, around, and behind everything. Hi, Sierra. I know that formula's here. I also know it'll be carefully concealed. Let's search carefully. I'm willing to bet this place has a few secrets, and they'll probably be well hidden. Hmm, let's see. I don't think I'll be able to destroy it. No. It's hard to believe I'm really here. would be hidden somewhere. No way Brad Burton would leave it out in the open. Duh. Look at that. Mr. Brad Burton, you were one sneaky devil. Bye, guys. Went to vault.
This looks interesting. Come on. Ooh. Something steps out what of these on earth? Wait. No. It can't be. That's John Caleb Bradburton. Or at least it's his head. Wow. Who, who are you? I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my god. It's alive! He's alive! My name's Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka-Cola more than anything. This is such an honor. You there, with the pit boy. What are you doing here? We solved your hidden cappy contest. The hidden cappy contest. It all seems so long ago. Another lifetime. That was before I became this monster. Before I was trapped here for centuries to suffer in solitude. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. I can't imagine what you must have gone through. I'm truly sorry, Mr. Bradburton. Um, a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them. On one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! Are you really sure that you want to die? I've had plenty of time to think about it. You can't kill him. He's a great man. He invented Nuka-Cola, the best thing in the world. Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone and staring at the same wall decade after decade. Now please shut up while I talk to your more rational friend here. <laughs> I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy, but there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please. Set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Bradburton wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. You've got a point, but I want compensation for the prototype ammo I won't be getting. Well, uh, I do have one thing that might interest you. I've got a limited edition Nuka-Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish, and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but, well, I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka-Cola jumpsuit? <laughs> That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours. But I beg you to honor my wishes. Mm. There is no one else who can help me. I sort of feel sorry for him. I couldn't stand being a frozen head. How could I drink Nuka-Cola? Decisions, decisions.
Okay. Imagine being trapped like that for centuries. No, oh, and that's why he wants to die, lady. Jammed. No use. And that reminds you of the old days. Perfect. Schematics. Sure. Some of those drinks are pretty crazy. Okay, so that's that. You wanted the Nuka Cola formula? Here it is. So it really was here. I'm grateful. I don't think this means I've forgiven you. You killed the man who was my greatest hero. A man who revolutionized the soft drink industry and whose creations put smiles on a million faces. Who the hell are you to just walk in here and destroy all that? He made a choice, and I respected that choice. You should too. I... I guess so. It's just that... Never, not in my wildest dreams, did I think... I'd get the chance to talk to Mr. Brad Burton in person. To get an opportunity like that, and then have it snatched away. It hit me pretty hard. Still, I can't overlook the fact that for one glorious shining moment, I got to meet the man who invented Nuka-Cola. I'll never forget that. Not ever. And it wouldn't have been possible without your help. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Here. I know it's not much, but you really went above and beyond the Call of Duty. I think I'll stick around here for a while and see what else I can find. By the time I'm done, I'm gonna need a much bigger building to house my Nuka-Cola museum. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's go up here and dump all of our stuff. Ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Things are boring as hell since Nishin. Oh, okay. You're both bored. Need something, boss. Oh. <laughs> Is he twerking? So uh, I think it's about time for me just to take out all the baddies here, okay? Yeah, I am not taking out Minute Men. No, 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 no. Okay. And that one mission, that's basically going to take over the Commonwealth. Uh, I could do this one because it's just taking out, um, just doing something with a super mute. And screw those guys. Okay. I believe we've already been through. What was that? What hey. you say? Bullshit. Another one, another one, another one. Another one, another one. Whee!
I guess he's over it. Yeah, ammo. Mm, that's always useful. Here's the other one. I kill. You. If that's what you want. <laughs> All right, let's go say hi to the super marathons. That's how we do things around here. Get him, boil? I get him, boil? Oh, you did not. Hello. I'm going to be sick. How are you going to be sick? What is the matter? All the blown up gooey bodies, perhaps? Ugh. Okay. I think this is about putting a collar on someone. Um, let's see. Oh, ears play tricks on. Oh. What's that? What do you do? Stealth boys are great, I guess. Oh, shit. Okay. 
Hang on a while. I wonder if I could do that. Put on my stealth boy. Property of Mason in Nuka Town now. Get going. Okay, so now that's done. I think I've already been in here before and spelunked around. Ooh. Bingo. Bingo. A unique hairstyle. Excuse you. Yes. He's gonna send somebody to hell. Who's he gonna send to hell? For another one up here? Open up here. Let's just go ahead and go back and turn this in. And I'll look over the quest one more time, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go ahead and take out all the bandits. I'm just wiping them out. Off the face of the earth. Do 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 do. <laughs> Let's do this. Moving around. Long. Start a fight. Never off, but ain't too smart to come around after pissing in our watering hole. You think I give a shit about you when you clearly don't give a shit about the pack? Get out of here. Boom. <laughs> and that's how it's done. Hey, you got the big ones. Add this to your pile of caps. Boss, I got something else that requires your attention. I'm here to help. Well, ain't that sweet of you. I want to cause a little ruckus for our so-called friends. The operators. But they got a trader working for them, bringing them the good stuff. But not for long. Hard to earn a living as a corpse. Who will I be facing? Just a fool. To be easy pickings. My kind of work. I was hoping you'd say that. So the pop thinks he can run with the 
Life is short, boss. You better get your partying in now. Yeah, they're all pissed at me for some reason, so like dead never. Meat. Yes, it does. You like your face the way it is? Then get out of mine. Not even fooling with that one. The disrespect that I have seen since I've been the boss. Is unacceptable. The pack don't will not be tolerated. Fuck your face. Okay. No, oh, that's cool. Should have figured. Should have figured that was going to happen. You like your face the way it is? Then get out of mine. Got it. Scamper off, fuck. <sighs> Smells like dead meat. Ain't too smart to come around. Hey, get this started. Hearing a dog that was, it sounds like it's right beside me. Few of them. I gotta check his here.
Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Now it's stuck in there, so just leave the gorilla alone. You're free. Run. You're free. Stop it, dude. You are such an idiot. Okay. This is a uh mess of bodies some of that junk down you might want to shut the hell up hey what do you want time to split up the loot
All right. Oh, jeez. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, you win. Dude, they're slaves. Leave them alone. Oh, shit. I should have expected this. Kind of use some help here, Bucko. Okay, good lord. I guess that was everybody out of this section.
Okay, this is going to be another fun area. Okay. Holy shit. Be tough. Bring it on. Damn. Take the damn stem pack.
Okay. You all are dead. You're welcome. Okay, let's see what we got here. Tuxedo, yes. It's a you. That's yayes. So why is this yeez? Can't carry anymore. Jeez. What do you want? Fine. Are you now? Yup, I got tired of the disrespect. Okay. 
that's it for these uh, D bags. care of these guys and gals. Feeling eyes on my back. Safety off. I think we have company. Yeah, we do. Excuse me. Are you back with me? Oh, good, good. I was so worried. What's up, my dude? Mm 
stuff anymore his guns going through his freaking neck Ugh. Commonwealth Savings Bank of McCready, open for business. In my opinion, folks, ain't no relationship worth this kind of trouble. I'm just being honest with you. But anyway, so Atlas called out a few of his lieutenants. Oh, that's why he was so full. The son of a bitch was picking up everything under the sun. He was pretty much picking up every freaking weapon. Let's go and uh, finish this. Wanna torque? Wanna torque some more? No? There we go. Whack, 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 whack. Check it out. 
Okay, this is not cool. Get some, get some room. Am I fucking stuck? Never! Come on, there we go. It was gonna be uh, toughy tough, but damn.
Hi, Bala. When he told me the story, and then I went and wrote a song about it. Whatever. It's Red Eye here, running Raider Radio. You love it, and you know it. Who wants some good news? Ew. Till I get you back to Fizz Top. Oh, were you recording this just for little old me? You operators are such sweethearts. Trade in this area seems pretty scarce. I'm thinking of packing it in and heading back to the Commonwealth. I lost one of the Brahmins to some damn rad scorp the other day. And I think Emmy's coming down with something. The rest of us are just at each other's throats. Tired of traveling and barely running into any business. This whole plan was a bust. As it is, we barely got enough to pay for our losses. Hey, are all y'all traders? If so, I know a pretty good post nearby. Guarantee you'll turn a profit if you want to check it out. Yeah, well, I'm not sure we want to trust anything some stranger in a mask told us. You sure you're not some sort of raider? I ain't no raider, and I only wear this mask on account of some Yao Guai wanting a piece of me a while back. It's up to you folks. If y'all are interested, Nuke World's just a short trip north. Can't miss it. Just tell them Dixie sent you, and they'll treat you and yours like y'all are family. Mm. Hmm. We'll talk about it. Thanks for stopping by. Maybe we'll have to check out this Nuke World outpost before heading back. It'd be worth a shot. I'll have to talk with the others, and hope no fights break out this time. Uh, Ruth, ow. Sammy just came back with this girl Dixie, and brought the best news ever. She said she comes from a place where we'll be safe and protected, called Nuka World. Finally. I am so tired of trying to live out here on our own, dealing with tickets, freedom, finding food, and just surviving. Ew. We're packing up to leave, and we're out of here. I wanted to leave this message for you. It's awfully sweet of y'all to welcome a stranger into your home. Uh, you've no idea how happy we are that we ran into you. Not as happy as I am. What are you doing? Wait, I thought you were here to... Ah! Kate, run! Sam, no! What have you done? Oh, don't 
worry, honey. I never keep two lovebirds apart. No! No! Oh, <sighs> that went well. What's this? I think I'll keep you as my little souvenir. Pretty much why I wanted to take out all the raiders. They were nothing but trouble. Look at that. Sweet. Okay, has that taken out? The Raiders. Negative. Let's see if I could uh, soften some of them out. One, one came out. Hey, Mackenzie. Boss, I, I can't believe it. You killed the Raiders. All of them. I have to ask, why? Raiders steal and kill without remorse. They don't deserve to live. Uh, can't argue with that. If you ask me, they've had it coming for a long time. I've thought about this day for a long time. Dreamed about it, really. Though I never thought I'd see that dream come true. Now that it has, I'm left with a question that I don't know the answer to. What happens next? <laughs> well, you're free now. You can do anything you want. Freedom. I never appreciated that word as much as I do right now. You know, I think we should keep this market open. Bring it back to what it used to be. A place where everyone feels welcome. Before you go, there's one last thing I need to say. Thank you. Sincerely, from all of us. Thank you. Wherever the road takes you, 
know that you'll always be welcomed back here in Nuka World. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to figure out a way to safely remove these collars. Okay, so that's got that, and the market remains open if I want to buy anything. been lifted off us. Thanks. Hey, just wanted to say no hard feeling. All right? It's okay. I get it. Thank God. If it's any consolation, I'm glad you made it. I don't have any family. Living family. I lost them when Coulter and his gangs took this place from us. Now, these traitors are all I have left. They're my family now. Every time Coulter sent me out to lure people into the gauntlet, I didn't have a choice. I had to do it, or he'd kill someone I cared about. I'm just sorry you had to get caught up in all this. It's all right, Harvey. I understand. Good to hear, boss. Never figured I'd find myself in this situation before. I thought for sure I'd be a goner. Well, better get back to it. Okay, bye bye Raider. So now, let's see. I could still talk to him. Test out your skills, boss. I heard you were looking for me. You heard the alarm, right? That means someone's in the gauntlet. Looks like a real tough one, too. What happens next is up to you. You can take him on yourself in the arena, or I can make sure our little rat never gets out of the maze. There's not going to be a fight. Set them free. Damn. Really? Well, you're the boss. Won't pretend I'm not disappointed, though. Oh. Well. Okay. <clears throat> so I still have, I think, three star cores to find. And... Uh, the power. I still have to turn the power on. I believe when uh, I get the power turned on, that that will um, that that'll open up because there's a couple areas that you have to have the power on before you can ac access them. So I think that's the um, next thing that I need to do. So I'll go down here. I've already been through here, but. I don't know, I'm, I've got to be missing something, because I need a key. Ooh, come to think about it, there was... Yep. A couple of, uh... Peter down here. Now I should be able to fight them. Maybe one of them has the key, maybe?
Boop. Okay. Oh. Guess I found the key. It may have been on uh, one of the raiders I killed, possibly. That's cool. Fireworks, yay! Let's see, there's one place in here that I remember. Oh, it doesn't spawn the uh, body of the queen anymore. The what the what?
guess it makes sense though because I did give them all the uh, town and stuff for the area. Okay. So yes, this was uh, one of the areas that you couldn't access until you get the power back to all of Nuka World. Oh there. Come on bro. Come on bro, we're going down there. Come on. Everybody party, celebrate. Oh. Hey, now, oh, where are we? What are we? Who are we? When are we? Bowsers. See what's going on down here. Dr. Levitt say? It was like we expected. She won't be joining Project Cobalt. Didn't you tell her how important this is to the country? I mean, if she hasn't noticed, we are at war. I didn't even get that far in the conversation. She still thinks all we're doing here is making soda, for God's sakes. It's a shame, too, because she's the best organic chemist we have. I guess we'll just have to rely on Dr. Medford from now on. Wait, she's leaving? She's gonna walk away from all of this? She's not only walking away from her job here, she's blacklisting herself from our industry entirely. When I told JC about our chat, he blew his top and started ranting about how he nice. needs a chance. Damn. Teach me that. Remind sometime. me never to get on Brad Burton's bad side. Here we go, another one. You wanted to talk, so talk. Don't take that tone with me, Rex. You know exactly why I'm pulling you aside. You told Brad Burton our team would work on Project Cobalt without asking the rest of us first. I don't have to consult with any of you first. I'm the least beverage. Are you even you know listening what, to yourself? I expected Jeez. more out of you. What? Are the two of you I really best thought you'd now? jump at the chance to stop fooling around making soft drink flavors play with the big boys for a change. I'll make this simple for you. Either you stop this emotional outburst and join the rest of us in reality, or I'm pulling you off the team. Go to hell, Rex. You'll have my resignation by the end of the month. Okay. All right. Now let's go on and search the rest of this place and see what happened here. Okay.
Bug. Just like I've said in my previous videos before, um, I'll give enough time to um, pause and read it, and then while I edit, I'll go back and I'll read it as well. read the majority of it. A lot of it's usually just a backstory, some humor, and stuff like that. This looks promising. She, uh huh. Oh, good. You can always use more ammo. This is your last chance, Kate. I could still convince JC to keep you here if you just agree to join Project Cobalt. First of all, I'm not Kate to you. Not anymore. And second of all, no thanks. I'm done being your lab rat. I already have my things packed, and I'll be out of here by tomorrow. So until then, why don't you just stay out of my way? Come on, Dr. Levitt, be reasonable. After the U.S. wins this war, I'm sure they'll close Project Cobalt, and we can get back to making people happy. You're one of the most talented scientists I've ever had the pleasure of working with. And I really hate to see you go. I'm with Dr. Banal. I mean, it's just not going to be the same without you here. I appreciate what you're both saying, but my mind's made up. Brad Burton might own half of Massachusetts, but I'll be damned if I'm going to let him own me. And if you two were smart, you'd both get out of here. What the hell is that alarm? What's that noise? Oh my god, it's happening. How could it be happening now? I thought we were winning this war. Have they launched missiles at us? Damn it, I wish we could see what was going on outside. You really oh, want to go outside? The door just sealed. We're stuck hmm? down here. Yeah. What are you talking about? There's no way out? It's a built-in safety precaution. Brad Burton must have hit the panic button in his office. It seals all the high security areas up tight. His vault, our lab, the power plant's control center. All of it. We have to face facts. We might be down here for a long time. Well, Rex, looks like you got what you wanted. All right. I don't care if Bradburton made you the Pope. You're not telling me what to do anymore. Else in here. We've been stuck down here for weeks. There's no Bradburton anymore. There's no Nuka World anymore. No nothing anymore. Don't you get it, Rex? We're done. Humanity's done. We might be all that's left. And you want to continue yeah. working on this bullshit project? Why don't you wake up, Keith? You don't know what's going on out there. I wish Look, the two I of don't you would deny stop it's a shame what happened to Dr. Medford. But we're at going least to he survive. kept his mind on his work. The fact of the matter is, he lost it. He was weak. He let his emotions take over. I don't want to see the same thing happen to you. There we You're go. You're crazy. At first, I thought you were just driven. But I was wrong. You're absolutely... Get a away gun? from the door controls, So what are you going to do? I'm not You're going to shoot me now? Is that what this has come to? I said this to you a few months ago, and I'll say it again. Go to hell, Rex, and goodbye. Oh. Oh my god. You you shot her. She's she's gone. I had to do it, Kevin. She left me no choice. Now let's take care of this mess and get Damn. back to work. Definitely be upgrading that bad boy. Then I need uh yeah. 
Cola is a ammo. And just in case you didn't know, you could go down through and it'll take off uh, wrong guesses and yeah, you could do that and it'll get it all the way down to one, but you don't need to. Yes. If you got three guesses, you're good. Open door? Open sesame? Looks familiar. This looks really familiar. This is a bottling plant, right? I'm here, Ashor. Hey, let's see what you got. This a bobbling plant? Where in the hell am I? No, I've been here before. Bloob, bloob, bloob. Kitty Kingdom. Who's there? No one. We. It's pretty cool to see everything lit up. Robots working.
Okay. We we Yeah, I was hoping they'd at least be a uh a star core in that place back there. place right here couldn't do anything with it until of the power on now the power's on Going yay now let's see what's going on with this There we go, there's a star core. Victory. It. Star core. Of course, got a good view of everything. Hours on, everything's all lit up and pretty. That was it, Star Core. That's fine with me. It's uh, one more. So now I just gotta go down here and see how many I got left. I probably won't record me looking for the other two because Jesus that's going to be tedious it's going to be tedy tedy tedious Oh no, I like one more. Uno Mars. Pretty sure we're not allowed. Come on, dude! The hell? Okay. So, like one more. 
one fucking more. Trying to think of another area that required power. What the fuck just happened over there? Sheesh. I just got some XP from something. Is a place that needed some power. Where are you, mother trucker? I just thought of it. Where in hell is there? We go. Let's see, did it need power? Ooh. Wasn't for that. What the hell's going on over here? Oh. Master lock, so it needs to be wiggle wiggled. Aww. Wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. Wiggle. Got it. Alright folks, I found the last uh, star core. Um, so let's go ahead and slap it in. Oh yeah. 
So that should be the whole thing. It should be all of them. Now what? Now what? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, the last star core that I was missing was actually in the uh, junkyard. No, right? Very nice. All right, so I'm going to take this back to Sanctuary, and then, uh, yeah, this will be the end of uh, Nuka-Cola. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.